everyone, welcome to this morning's update. I hope you're doing fantastic. Let's look at what is going on across the Atlantic. So as you would have seen from the thumbnail, we've got our tropical wave trio. So three tropical waves are making their way across the Atlantic Basin. One has its axis in the Caribbean. One is just offshore, Northeast South America. We can see all that convection associated with it. And the most recent one, which emerged from Africa. So we can see all that activity associated with it. And as we're going to be heading into the next couple of days, the two that are out here are going to be making their way toward the Caribbean. So we're going to be looking at when the second tropical wave is going to be reaching and the third one as well and what may happen with the first. So let's zoom into the Caribbean. We can see all of this activity associated with the first tropical wave, the first one of the season, tropical wave number one. So it has been unleashing quite a bit of rain in parts of Hispaniola and even Puerto Rico, especially last evening. There was a lot of shower and thunderstorm activity in parts of Haiti. Now, as we're going to be heading through today, Jamaica is going to have that higher chance of thunderstorms and even some periods of heavy rain, especially in the afternoon. So if you're going out, it's good to carry your umbrella just in case. It's not a guarantee that that's going to be the case for all the island, but it may happen for someone. Looking toward the vicinity of the ABC Islands, we can see some thunderstorms offshore in parts of Venezuela. The Sir Antilles, much not happening. However, there's that dust in the area. And for other parts of the Caribbean, such as Western Caribbean, much isn't going on at all right now. Same thing for most of the Bahamas. Here's a look at the rainfall forecast for today from the Euro model. So there could be some additional rainfall, some decent rain, maybe up to three quarters of an inch of rain at maximum for parts of Hispaniola, near Puerto Rico, even Jamaica and eastern Cuba as well. There could even be some downpours for, for the Turks and Caicos Islands. And then a couple showers may move by the Virgin Islands as well as through the Lesser Antilles and for the ABC Islands. Northern South America, as we know, very active. The intertropical convergence zone is in the area, so there's a lot of atmospheric instability. And for the Guyanas, there's that tropical wave around, so that is going to be helping to enhance the rain as well. Central America, so for Panama, Costa Rica, go into parts of Nicaragua, El Salvador, we can see some of those red. Uh, shadings around so probably up to an inch of rain for some of those areas and uh, some thunderstorms as well parts of honduras may also experience some downpours similar story for some spots in belize guatemala but overall for the yucatan peninsula much is not expected today same thing cayman islands western cuba and parts of the northern bahamas Winds are going to be kicking up somewhat today for parts of the Caribbean, especially the vicinity of the ABC Islands and toward the uh, Yucatan for the Bay Islands, of Honduras, Belize, parts of Mexico. Winds are going to be kicking up a bit. So at maximum, they could be just over 20 knots and gusts could be a bit stronger than that. So for the Lesser Antilles, especially the Windward Islands as we head into later today, ABC Islands going to the Northwest Caribbean, winds are going to be kicking up a bit. For some of the Northern Islands, it's not going to be as windy. Now, as I mentioned, there's that Saharan dust out there. So let's take a look at it. Then we'll talk more about our tropical waves. So let's look at the forecast. We've got all this dust making its way into the Caribbean and take a look at those darker brown shadings. That is a higher concentration of dust, which should arrive as we're going to be heading towards the weekend. So Friday, going to Saturday, we're going to be seeing more dust, a higher concentration of dust in parts of the Eastern Caribbean for the Lesser Antilles. So we've got that dust from Africa moving through the main development region and headed to the Caribbean. All right, and now we're looking at the forecast in terms of where our tropical waves are going to be. So as we're going to be heading into tomorrow evening, this is the expected uh, location of the tropical wave axes. So the first one of the season is expected to be making its way toward the Western Caribbean. The second tropical wave is expected to cross in at that time. So by tomorrow, uh, you know, if it is sustaining enough activity, then it could enhance the rain for parts of the Caribbean. And then the third tropical wave of the season is gonna be out there. And then as we're going to be heading into late on Thursday, the third tropical wave is not gonna be too far from the Lesser Antilles. The second one is going to be making its way through the Eastern Caribbean. The first one is expected to be crossing through Central America and into the Eastern Pacific by that time. So if the tropical waves do sustain enough activity, then they could certainly help out with the rainfall as we're going to be heading 
throughout、uh, the rest of this week. So for Jamaica, as we're going to be heading into today and even tomorrow, we could see more thunderstorm activity, more rainfall around in some areas, but it's not a guarantee that it will be for all the island. So you may not receive anything. Someone else may receive some heavy rain. So it could be that kind of a thing because we're not talking about a very robust tropical wave. It's kind of struggling right now. As we look back at these satellite imagery, we can see it's not sustaining a whole lot of activity. The second one is not really sustaining much either. But again, if it should,、uh, you know, try to get some of that activity, some of that convection going, then it could certainly enhance the rain for parts of the Lesser Antilles. And then the third one, which recently emerged. That one definitely has some convection and association with it, but let's see how much of this is going to be、uh, sustained through the course of the next couple of days. But of course, I'm here to keep you guys posted on all that is going on, and none of these is marked for development. Development is not expected for right now. Eventually, as we head into June, we could see something try to get itself together. But the environment is not super conducive to allow for that to happen in the short term. So. We don't need development for flooding, by the way. So many people are fixated on when we may see development. But with these tropical waves, if they're robust enough, that can be enough to unleash tropical storm-like conditions and actually result in flooding across some areas. So、uh, you know, even though the tropical waves help out with the rainfall, they do have their downsides. Too much of one thing isn't good. So there's a lot of dust out there as we just take,、uh, we just took a look at it. And that helps to kind of stabilize the atmosphere, so it does give those tropical waves some trouble as it relates to、uh, sustaining enough convection. So that is one inhibiting、uh, inhibiting factor of tropical developments. But as we look at others, such as for example, the sea surface temperature is very warm right now, very supportive of development. At the minimum, tropical cyclones would require around 26 degrees Celsius. We're seeing 27, 28, 29. 30, even some spots of 31 in parts of the Caribbean. So it is very warm, but we need everything to kinda work together for us to see something really get itself together and intensify. But it's still very early on. We typically see that kind of activity as we head to August, September, October, the three most active months of the hurricane season. And September is the peak month. For now, no disturbances are out there. None of the tropical waves is expected to intensify into anything significant. But of course, I'm here to keep you posted, and that is pretty much it for this video. I really do hope you found it to be very informative. But if you have any questions, do feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you when I get the chance to do so. And remember to always be weatherwise.